Welcome once again to our back to school trainings uh, for the school year of 2022-2023. I am Jason Howard. I am a program consultant in Office Assessment Accountability and Support. I manage the alternate assessment program, and I'm here today to uh, discuss the alternate Kentucky Summative Assessment and the items you need to be aware of for the um, back to school. So as we begin, uh, we do have an agenda. Uh, we'll go over first what's new with the alternate assessment. There wasn't a lot of changes this year, but there were some. Uh, and then we'll go through assessment trainings and the requirements of those. We'll go through the TAR, or the transition attainment um, record. We'll go through attainment task, which is the test that you administer in window one and window two. We'll go through those testing windows and when they are and when they occurred and the expectations for those. And then lastly, we'll go through the calendar um, for the alternate assessment. So with that, let's get started. So the first thing I want to discuss today are the upcoming changes for this school year. Now, these plans are shared with the anticipation that they may be modified given the changing circumstances of the pandemic. So adjustments may be needed as COVID-19 outbreak conditions change. So I just want to put that as a fair warning. Now, this summer we have been extremely busy. We've been developing new items in all subject areas of AKSA with the exception of science. With the assistance of teachers of both content and special education backgrounds. We have also uh, set new standards with the assistance of panels of content experts across the state, which has resulted in new TAR and AT benchmarks. Now those benchmarks, while set, still have a few levels of approval to make it through before we can release them publicly. So as soon as those benchmarks are set, we will communicate those to the field. Also, in work soon to happen, we will be having a bias review of newly created test items in August of this year. Now this is a process where we convene, not necessarily teachers, but community, industry, and other individuals to come look at test questions for bias. Now, a good example of testing bias would be how different regions of the state may refer to a soft drink. You know, some areas may call it a pop, others may call it a soda. So a good bias review would address issues like this. Also, a new change will be the alternate program calendar. Now, this takes all the dates for OAA, OCTE, and the data wings and compiles them into one calendar. So any significant dates for the AKSA, the TAR, the SRD, the CRD, the CWEC, or the ESAR will be communicated on this calendar. We will discuss more about this in a later slide. You will also notice at the bottom of the slide there is a link to resources our low instance consultants have made to share with teachers across the state. Now these were made last year, but I'm going ahead and putting them out there again. Uh, these are instructional supports that can help in the day-to-day -day education of our children. Please share these valuable resources with your teachers. So now that we have covered the new changes for the upcoming school year, let's turn our attention to the layout for the assessment trainings. So the first training that we should always mention is the Administration Code and Inclusion of Special Populations Regulations training. Now, both of these trainings would be required for anyone who administers the alternate Kentucky Summative Assessment. Also this year, the overview attainment task training will release around August 29th and must be completed by November 14th, 2022. Now, any teacher who will administer the alternate Kentucky Summative Assessment must take this training. For any high school teachers that will administer the transition attainment record or the TAR, they must complete that training as well. The TAR training will open on October 3rd, 2022, and this year will close on March 24th, 2023. You will notice in previous years we had closed the TAR on the last day the TAR, uh, the TAR could be administered, which was generally the last day of school or around thereabouts. So like this year, for instance, would have been May 30th. We have moved that date up to March 24th because the training should be done before the TAR work is actually done. And therefore, anyone that needs to take the training after uh, March 24th, 2023, um, they will um, be required to um, contact me to get that training unlocked. Now, this slide demonstrates the TAR assessment that will be administered this year. This year, the TAR will change only for grade 11 and 12 students with the new Kentucky Academic Standards now being live. So the TAR will look the same as the last three years at grade 14. This slide represents the changes over the next two school years. The former assessments means that the TAR is based on the TAR we assessed the past three years. Please note this is the final year there will be two versions of the TAR. 
beginning in 2023, uh, 2024 school year, there will be only one version of the TAR offered that covers the current Kentucky Academic Standards and Kentucky Alternate Assessment Targets. Now, one final, final note on the TAR. As with all years, grade 12 students can retake the TAR if they did not meet benchmark. Now, this year, because seniors are given a chance to retake the ACT, all grade 12 students have the option to retake the TAR if they so choose. Now that we have discussed the TAR for the 2022-2023 school year, let's take a look at the Attainment Task Administration. Just a few reminders to share out. The first, as noted earlier, is that we will conduct an operational field test this year. It will be part of the accountability and it will remain two testing windows. Now, for those wondering, an operational field test is a test which has mostly operational items with only some newly created items within it. Now, these items are new and being tested uh, before a decision is made to keep them in a testing bank as future operational items. For this year, no more than three questions per individual window and subject will be uh, included. This means over the course of the entire year, up to six field test items will be embedded per each individual grade and content area across both testing windows. The items being field tested will not be marked. Post-test, these items will be flagged, reviewed, and either rewritten if necessary or tossed out completely if they cannot be fixed. Now, the AKSA, both operational and field test components this year, are embedded into one single test, and that does count towards accountability. Now, this slide focuses on the content areas that will be assessed at the elementary level. One thing to note is that many schools have a different grade configuration. So your school may not be a three through five grade span. It may be a three through six, a three through four. The three through five grade span is used at the state level, and that is how we um, determine district accountability. Now, this slide reflects the required content areas being assessed at middle school. And finally, this slide looks at high school content areas to be assessed. If you will note in red, grade 9 and 12 no longer have attainment task administered at those grades. Now, on that note, please be aware that you will not receive test and or district and or school level binders for grades 9 or 12. This is a question we receive quite often. Schools and districts with at least one AKSA eligible student will receive a district and school level binder for tested grades only. By test of grades only, that means if a test is administered at those grade levels, which for 10 and 11 is the case. 9 and 12 are not tested. So there will be no binders at the school or district level for those students in those schools. Now we look at testing windows. So the operational field test will still contest of two testing windows. Testing window one will open November 14th and run until December 16th. During this window, there will be 15 items per content area that will focus on one specific group of standards. You can find which standards are tested by checking the grade level standards document on the KD website linked above. They are broken down by content and grade level. Now, the window to assessment will open on April 17th and will run until May 30th. During this window, there will be 15 items per content area. Now, once again, consult the grade level standards document on the KDE website linked on this slide. You can find which standards are uh, assessed during this window by consulting these documents. They are broken down by content and grade level. Now, when will you receive materials? So materials will ship and arrive based on the timeline shared on the slide. So materials for window one are expected to arrive in the district sometime the week of October 24th. For window two, we will continue to offer options as we have in the past based on the concept that spring breaks will still be available. Now, in late February, districts will be asked to select, a select shipping option one or two based on when they will take spring break. As was done last year, if no selection is made, then the default selection will be made for the district, and that is option one. Materials for window two, the first option, will ship the week of March 27th. And window two, the second option, will ship the week of April 3rd. Now what you've all been waiting for, the calendar. So this uh, slide shares the proposed dates for the 2022-2023 school year. Now, as noted in the past, these dates may be subject to change due to circumstances beyond the control of KDE. These are the selected dates available to be shared publicly at this time. 
So a change, uh, as we mentioned in earlier in this presentation, is that the Office of Assessment Accountability and the Office of Career and Technical Education have joined together with the data gurus and UK to compile a comprehensive calendar with all the dates for all the programs, data pools, and opening and closing a task within the SRD and CRD. Once finalized, this comprehensive calendar will be released via Monday DAC email and an alternate email as well as available on the KD website. Now, do not forget to check out the other back to school trainings offered by the Office of Assessment Accountability. Thank you for all that you do on a daily basis for the children of the Commonwealth and have a great school year. If you have any questions about this presentation, do not hesitate to contact us using the information above. Thank you and have a great school year.